Today we're going to be talking about the Blandings turtle. The Blandings turtle is one of the rarer turtles you're going to find in the state of Michigan here, specifically found within Oakland County. The Blandings turtle is currently under review by the Michigan DNR to be considered a species of greatest concern. This means that the turtle is likely to become threatened very soon. The Blandings turtle is best identified by a few defining traits. First, we'll take a look at the carapace. The carapace is the top of the shell. In this case, it's incredibly domed, and that's what you can expect to see in most blanding turtles. On the top of the carapace, there's a lot of, of large scutes. Scutes are the top scales on the outside of the shell. On the blanding turtle, you'll see a lot of yellow speckling, but not spots. The next most defining trait is the yellow plastron. The plastron is the underside or belly of the turtle. In male Blanding's turtles, you'll notice that the plastron is concave, meaning that there's a slight indent leaning inwards towards the turtle. On females, it's the exact opposite, and it will bump out a little bit along the belly. By far, the easiest way to identify the Blanding's turtle is by its bright yellow chin, which isn't seen on any other turtle within the state of Michigan. When in doubt, look for that bright yellow chin, and you'll know that you found a Blanding's turtle. A good way to tell the gender of a turtle is based off of the tail. In male turtles, the tail will typically be long and fat, such as this little guy right here. However, on female turtles, typically the tail will be much shorter and thinner as well. Blending turtles can typically be found in a lot of shallow and weedy pools, such as the vernal pool found right here. Within the pools, typically the blending turtle will prey on small fish, crayfish, and insects. The nest of the Blanding's turtle typically looks like uh, a hole has been dug in the ground and recently been covered up and padded. Uh, they're typically fairly easy to spot because uh, they only nest in loose gravel, um, sometimes wood chip piles or sand, and they'll typically lay anywhere between like 3 and 21 eggs. Because this is a species of greatest concern, we advise that you do not uh, interact with the nest and try and keep an eye on it as much as possible. It's okay. Trust me. Okay? <laughs>